All right. The video seems to start from a weird place because, like, I had driven for two hours before I started the video, but that's when I realized this is not plan A or B or C. I, I have to turn around and go find some other road. So this is my explanation as to why it just starts in the middle of nowhere with me turning around. Huh. That's, uh, that's the end of this drive. Okay. That looks, this looks promising. Holy crap, it was so hard to get, to get here. I'm a half hour from where I was trying to get to, but I, I saw this and, Jesus Christ, not a Nissan Versa road. Yeah. It's a little off the beaten path, but uh, and it's it's quiet back here. I don't have a phone signal. I have no no idea where I am, but uh, I know two places I'm between. So either way I go, I'm going to end up at one of them. Huh? It's a little colder than I dressed for up here. I keep saying that in my videos. I should just throw jackets and stuff in the car. Anyway, I brought enough stuff to camp, but I didn't plan on camping. I got food, I got stuff to sleep in, you know, but I don't know. Let me hang out and smoke a joint, see what's up. Told you I'd find it. Saw that big pile of rocks on Google Maps and I was like, oh, I gotta find that. I told you I'd find it. I don't know where I am, but uh, if I look at the satellite photo, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'm right there. Because I know where this rock is on the satellite photo. <laughs> oh, geez. What have I gotten myself into? Not a Nissan Versa road. And I gotta do it again for an hour and a half. My brain's like, you drove two hours, uh, half of that over dirt roads, to do this for a little while? Yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'll just do this for a while till it gets boring and go home. I don't care. I've seen it. Yay. I is now. It's just a bitch to get to. I might rent a U-Haul truck next time. Okay, not cool. Not cool. Apparently, if you just sit in one spot long enough in the woods and you don't move, things start to crawl on you. No, 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 no. Spiders. Uh, Jesus, I just I just threw a, a couple of things off me. Um, okay. That was cool. But uh, I guess I sat there... I sat up there too long. <laughs> Things started to crawl on me. They thought I was part of the rock. Oh, shit. So, I think I filmed the water. There's no fucking way I was driving through that water with this car. And now I'm back at the campsite. That'll be probably in the video just before this one. Uh, closed to motor vehicles, yellow sign. I went down that road some. I can't. I can't do it in this car. I can't get to where I'm trying to go in a Nissan Versa stick shift. It's either this is my Versa camping site in the future, or I can't camp out here with this car. I didn't want to buy it. It was just the right price and it was available. But uh, I'm seeing the downside of it now. Okay, now, let me see. Oh, good. Now I've paid $14 just to drive through this place and look at their $40 camping site. That's the cheapest, $45. Uh, some of these camping sites are $70. The one I was just at a little while ago on the side of the road was perfectly free, but they have dozens of spots here there's a big lake it's called wellington lake i thought that was cool because like i'm from a place right down the street from wellington but i don't want to pay 
$70 to sleep outside. Go fuck yourself. Uh, 45 I don't know. I could see... I could see paying 45 for a campsite since there's dozens to choose from. If I drove the two hours out here planning on camping at that roadside freebie spot and there was somebody there, that's it. I can't camp there. It's two hours driving wasted. So this is an option I wanted to look into. I don't want to pay money to sleep outside. That's just freaking stupid. I could sleep on my back porch for free. I, I have plenty of places I could sleep for free outside. Why would I pay money to sleep outside? Well, that, that lake, that's why you pay money to sleep outside. There's no freaking water in Colorado. So everybody wants water. And they don't mind paying for that. It's just a little lake. I mean, I'm from Florida. I'm like, who the fuck cares? Okay, apparently the $40 sites are uh, three layers back from the lake. Uh, they got a they got a lakeside, a hillside, and a mountainside. I would rather go for the mountainside. One, it's not $75. And two, there's a buttload of trees up here. My leisure hammock hangs from the trees. My sleeping hammock hangs from the trees. My gear hangs from the trees. Everything I do requires trees. Except the cooking. I can sit on the ground and cook. Everything else hangs from trees. I require trees. And this place has trees. But this road's no joke. I really wish I could have driven my Nissan to the places I wanted to go to, but I couldn't get there. I got turned around three times. And turning around on these roads is not easy, let me tell you. It's not easy. <laughs> not in a fucking stick shift. <laughs> oh. I got enough gear to camp, but uh, I just mainly wanted to make a drive today and a completely different drive north, way north of here tomorrow. If I camp here or at the free spot tonight, I'm not going to do the thing tomorrow going up north. And I'm making videos in airplane mode and nobody knows where I am. So there's that. I don't know. It's been a heck of an adventure day. I just haven't gotten out of the car much. I have like six joints, but I haven't smoked one yet because I'm, I'm a little worried. Some of the dirt roads are washboard, and if you go around a turn, ooh, there's somebody in a hammock. Hey, what's up? <laughs> ooh, nice big hammock. He was chilling. I think I woke him up. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't come out here with a Nissan Versa. Oh, jeez. Well, I drove all the way out here. I might as well walk up there and check out the waterfall. I bet you it's half frozen. But, uh... I'm not fucking around. <laughs> Got that in my right hand. There's a pistol on my hip. Uh... 25 caliber is not going to stop a bear, but it'll stop a mountain lion. They say if you kill a mountain lion, it's $25,000 fine. And I said, well, what if it's mauling you? The, the ranger shrugged and raised his eyebrows. I looked at him and I said, you, you know, I would, either with my hatchet or my gun, I would kill the mountain lion. I would owe you 25 grand that I couldn't pay, but I'd be alive and unmauled. So I'd be standing in court, getting my wa my wages garnished by the court system, and I'd be smiling, because I'd still be alive. Uh, $25,000 fine for saving my own life? Go fuck yourself. I would kill a mountain lion before I let it attack me. I've seen the video of those things chasing people down trails. That's scary looking. 
I would shoot that fucker right in the eye before I let it attack me. Uh, but so far, I've never seen any vicious animals on the trail. Just chipmunks and marmots and stuff. So we shall see if the water waterfall is frozen. They said it's 0.3 miles, so I might get there before I finish the video. <laughs> in point three miles that ain't nothing for me i put in six miles alone just working at the gaylord resort going between the truck and ballroom c point three miles i'm like should i have even brought my backpack <laughs> i uh i feel like in, i'm in the hobbit village hobbiton that's what it's called right Huh. Uh, it's not going to be much of a waterfall, huh? Yeah, that's a bunch of ice. That's it's not a good sign that the waterfall is going to be flowing. I mean, the water's going under it. Oh, wow, the sound of it. Huh. I, I doubt that came through the video. It, it sounds like a like a vacuum cleaner or a compression system decompressing uh, plumbing pipes like because the ice is covering the top the water goes under it it's like whoo, it, it sounds like a pipe cool this place is pretty two edits 0.3 miles yeah I keep starting and stopping the videos like within seconds so it seems like I'm walking a long distance but I'm not I just I stopped the video and then I'm like oh let me start it again stay on trail can do I hear I hear water I hear water I bet you it's frozen okay 30 feet later, he starts another video. It's, uh, it's mostly frozen, but not completely. They mostly come out at night, mostly. Huh. Well, that, that complicates the trail a little bit, huh? I like the picture. I don't care if you speak English or not. That means one thing. Don't climb on the waterfall. <laughs> Sorry, we haven't maintained the trail in years. Good luck. I see why they made me fill out a damage waiver before I drove past the office. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Those are big steps, holy crap. Ah, damn. Okay, can I get over there? I know I'm not supposed to. Oh, there's a sign that says waterfall. Am I not even there yet? Oh my God. Okay, I take back all those .3 mile jokes. Jesus. That last point one mile is something. <laughs> Holy crap. <sighs> There's a point two miles of joking and point one mile of losing your breath. All right, let me get this bear can in a pocket. Let me restart the video and not say anything.
There you go, Uncle Matt. It only took me forever to get here. And above the waterfall, the ground is hollow. It's hollow. It sounds like a mobile home floor. Huh. Well, let me tell you. It goes up very fast. And it keeps going up. It goes uphill. Wow. I had no idea any of this was back here. I thought it was a campground. When I walked in the door and uh, said, can I drive through? Yeah, I won't even get out of the car. I just want to see if I want to camp here sometime. She said, oh, that'd be $14 for day use. I said, I don't want to use it. I just want to drive through and look at it. She said, that'll be $14. I walked out like, oh, I'm never camping here. When I got to the free camping site, it's in the video earlier, I uh, I decided, well, what if I show up here and that site's filled, I'll have to come back to this one. She said, in the summertime, they're already reserved. Like, like they're right now, they're reserved three months from now. They're packed. So, this is the place you got to plan on. The uh, first come, first serve camp is just 50-50 uh, luck, I guess. But you got a plan on this place. Huh. I bet you they are packed in the summertime. This place is pretty cool. I wouldn't pay for a $70 lakeside spot. I'd pay 45 for the mountainside and come up here. Uh, all right, that's a minute and a half. Wow. That is a big piece of quartz. Oh, wow. That's a big piece of... Oh, wow. Huh. I wonder if this is called Quartz Mountain or something. There's a lot of quartz here. Holy crap. There's quartz everywhere. Everywhere! Look at that big chunk! Wow! Sorry, I'm turning too fast. Quartz rock everywhere. Cool. Yeah, the bear spray is glued to one finger. Always. This is no joke. Oh my God. Okay, my chest hurt. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Okay, I, I gotta stop. <sighs> Holy shit, my chest hurts. <sighs> I see we're quite a bit above the lake. Huh, that's rain. It's just so light, it's not touching the ground. That's funny. <laughs> Colorado rain's so cute. When it's cute. Um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay, you want to see a big piece of quartz? Uh, that is the biggest piece of quartz I've ever seen in my life. Huh. I wonder what the other one is. 
It looks flaky, but it's it's not. Uh, I wonder what it is and why it's inside the quartz. After I moved to Colorado, I quickly thought oh, I should have been a geologist. This stuff really fascinates me, but I don't know what any of it is. Oh, look, sunlight. I see sunlight. I haven't seen sunlight in a bit. Oh, geez, it keeps going up. Oh, my God. This is not what I planned for today, but... Uh, I can hear the waterfall when I stop panting. All right, I'm going to see where this goes. We're making a different day of this. They've started tying ribbons to the trail because you can't really see it. Just, uh, if you're ever in the Rockies or any other mountains, don't walk on the lichen. Look for the spot where there's no lichen. It takes a long time to grow. It's not like endangered, not this green one. The yellow with orange, the red, they're all endangered. This green one's not. Just try not to step on the lichen. Step on the rock, please. <sighs> Was it worth the hike? You bet it was. You bet it was. My car's to the left of that thing. I gotta get a picture of that. Oh, I can do that while I'm filming, just like with the old Samsung. Yay, Samsung. Oh, can I see my car from here? Oh my God. Oh my God, my car's just to the right of that pickup truck. Holy crap, that's a 12X zoom. That's 0.5. Well, I went to church this morning. I had my wireless headphones on as I was packing up my gear. And as soon as church was over, I jumped in the car and I drove. Here, it took me two and a half hours to drive to the front gate over there. And it took me two hours to get up here. Happy Sunday. That rock was not the end of the trail. It keeps going. I saw some young lady walk by me. I have to say young lady now because I can't tell if they're older than me or not. She came walking past and I thought, well damn, it keeps going. I was just about to go back to the car. Oh, wow. Look at that rock up there. Just wedged in that crack. I don't know if the trail goes up there, but I, I'm going to find out. You know, if that orange ribbon wasn't there, I would not have assumed that's the trail. I would have assumed this, this is the end. the fuck? I'm gonna need at least one hand. That, that was the nastiest bit of trail I've ever been through for an official trail. I mean, I would have chosen to climb that for fun, but as a part of the official trail, the only reason I know that's correct is because there's an orange ribbon right there. That was gnarly. Oh, good. 
Oh, are you serious? This is the gnarliest trail I have ever been on. Oh my God. Ever. I mean, there's a, there's a short chunk between Lower Chicago Lake and Upper Chicago Lake that's worse than this. Oh my God, there's red ribbons all the way up. Wow. I can't believe this was, I mean, I'm OCD. There's always a plan A and a plan B. I don't care if I'm going out drinking, if I'm going to watch a movie, pet the cat and go to bed. There's always a plan A and a plan B. This was not plan A or B or C or D. I had D plans for today, just in case A, B, and C didn't work out. This was not on the list. Red ribbon. Okay, red ribbons. Shit. That's not good. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, we got a view. We got a view. No, I didn't walk on the lichen. Okay, now I'm walking on lichen. Oh. Whoa, whoa. This trail just keeps on going. Wow, I'm above that already? Wow. I think, I think I'm on the Colorado Trail. And there's gonna, there's not gonna be an end to it. Until Utah. I'm gonna go back to the car. Gnarliest, gnarliest trail I've ever been on in my life. Like, if not for the little orange ribbons, I wouldn't, whoa, 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 whoa. I would not have gone this way. I'm going to mark this up to plan J. This was not on the menu today. Well, let's just time lapse the trip down. Let me take a look at this time lapse, see if this is worth doing. This is hard. I fell. Okay. Yeah, when you get to the, that part of the video, you, you might vomit. I'm, I'm gonna stop. Oh, I got up too quick. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna time lapse anymore. That, that'll make you sick. Okay. I'm doing this. Doing this. Oh my god, that's so good. Tastes like rocks. Ice fucking coal. Oh my oh my god. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Tastes like rocks. Something tells me. I didn't hike far enough. There's a freaking castle up there. 
I'm coming back sometime. Let me promise you that. I got to see a castle that you got to do that much trouble to get to. Holy crap. I bet you there's no visitors in the wintertime. I got snowshoes. I got ice cleats. They said they're open 365. Figured out why that put a damper on the trail. <laughs> That's not the trail. <laughs> I've gone off trail like 11 times this afternoon. This trail is hard to follow. And the steps are easy, but when there's no step, those orange ribbons were a lifesaver. But I still got off trail, especially coming down in that time lapse. I got off trail like four times in that time lapse. I fell over once. It happened. I watched the time lapse. It happened really fast, so I don't know if you saw my leg go up in the air. I fell over pretty good. Okay. Definitely worth visiting. Gonna make this plan A one day, not plan J. What a cool place. Oh shit, the sun's going behind the mountains. It was a two hour drive out here. Shit, it took me two hours to get up here. Damn it, it's gonna be dark when I get home. Okay, time to run. So yeah, in Colorado, when you go hiking, Colorado, excuse me. I don't live in Arvada, Colorado. I live in Arvada, Colorado. Silly Coloradans. They pronounce everything weird. Anyway, if you're hiking in Colorado and you get back to your car and it's the only car in the parking lot, you done started too late. Uh, everybody starts like at 4 o'clock in the morning. And had I known that was going to be... Oh my God. I mean, I would have started earlier. I had no idea what I was in for. But yeah, every time I come back to the parking lot and my car's the only one there, I think, oh damn, next time I come here, I gotta come earlier. The natives know better. Or maybe they all just walk the point three miles to the waterfall, except that one young lady that ran past me. I said, oh, oh, that's cold. Oh. Anyway, plan J, done. I'm going home. I'm in the middle of nowhere. This is nothing but a big hole in the ground, filled full of shit. And they have quiet shut lids. <laughs> hey, that was a, that was a heck of a hike. Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! oh my God, there's sweat down the spine of my back. It's frozen. Ah! Oh my God, it's frozen. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. There was a line of sweat down my shirt. It was like crunchy frozen. I just screamed like a little girl, didn't I? That was a long fucking day just to end up here again. 